down to this world. It is with deepest pride and the greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as you act and Cal Creek proudly presents... Wait, 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 what are you doing? I am welcoming our guests to the show. Yes, what guests? The ones in the audience. What are... Oh, that audience. Good evening to you all. I am Goldsworth, head of the household, and this is Lumiere. Bonjour. Thank you for joining us for our production of Beauty and the Beast. Before we break out in China, light the candles and get this show started, we would like to thank a few people and organizations who help make the magic happen. First, to our presenting sponsor, Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians. Our gold sponsors, Jim and Jennifer Smith. Our silver sponsors, the Barclay family, Art and Shirley Adams, Lauren Young Tire Center, Garrison Building Supply, and Rick Powell of Diamond Lake Mini Storage. Our bronze sponsors, Alison Eggers of State Farm, Bigfoot Beverage, Carrot, Dr. Allenson Randall, Roseburg Honda G Styles, Nooner Davidson and Company, U Trans, Roberta Goforth of Hair for You, Jeremy Gilliam of Edward Jones, Uncle Bank, Watkinson's Lear, and Rubenstein, Scott Stanley of New Visions Eye Care, Brian Prowitz of BP Media, and Alexis Atchison DDS. And of course, we cannot forget Wendy and Keith Wycombe, a true friend to the Enchanted. That's a lot of love. Maybe that could help break the spell. <laughs> we'll see, Lumiere, we'll see. We would also like to remind you to turn off all noise-making communication devices that have yet to be invented in our century. Also, no portrait painting of the modern kind. That would also be known as photography and video. Y yes, yes. Uh, uh, photography or video recording of any kind is strictly prohibited. The master would not like that. What are you two doing? Can't you see it's time to start the show? Quite right, Mrs. Potts. Lumiere, inform the staff and man your post. We oui, more capital. Thank you. While I put on some tea, and without further interruption, please enjoy Beauty and the Beast. Again, 
the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his as punishment. She transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Deserve the best? Well, of course. 
Except one uncle who, well, uh, maybe let that pass. And all you say or do, you couldn't make it later. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I am simply not like them. They are the common herd. And you can take my word. You are unique. Creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. Shows the world out there one day Just what we've got <laughs> No matter what Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate That every daughter's great You are
not to let him in. We could not just leave him for the rules. Is anyone home? Maybe if we keep quiet, he'll go away. Is somebody here? Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. I don't mean to intrude, but I've lost my way in the woods and I, I need a place to stay for the night. Poor fellow. Oh, comes to us. Have a hat. Monsieur, you are welcome here. Yeah? <laughs> I heard that. I know someone's here. I will thank you to come out where I can see you. Hello. Oh! And goodbye. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're a clock and you're talking. Oh, astonishing, isn't it? And quite explicable. Goodbye. God, I was I'm surprised that you wear it a minute. We have got to get him out of here before the master finds out. This is incredible. Oh, really, sir? How is this How accomplished? accomplished? <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Really, sir? <laughs> Do you mind? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but, um, wow, this is, I'm stumped. This must be some new scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Oh, sorry. It's just that, um, I've never talked to a, to a, to a, oh, to a clock before. Bless you. Your children's are born, monsieur. Come warm yourself by the fire. No, 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 I forbid it. Look, I demand that you stop right there. No, 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 not in the master's chair. No, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. Ooh la la. Do my eyes deceive me or is this a man? It has been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh. All right. Hello. Well, this has gone far enough. I am in charge here, and we are getting the... Come in the room! <laughs> How would you like a nice cup of tea, sir? It will warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, no, thank you. No, no, no. No tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Just what I need. Oh! I scared it, Mama. <laughs> Hi there, little fella. Uh, what's your name? Oh, figures. <laughs> Careful, thank you, monsieur. Oh, thank you. I just love older men. <laughs> Babette, you're always trying to make me jealous. Well, it is not going to work this time. Me? What about you, with Simon? Jacques. Michel. Pierre. Veronique. Veronique. Oh, Veronique. <laughs> Lumière, this has gone far enough. I'm in charge here. We've got to get him out of it. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. I <laughs> say he's bound to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no, remain calm. There's no reason to panic. But, uh, yes, uh, Lumi is right. There is absolutely no reason to panic. No more of this. <laughs> There's a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by wolves. We have it! Uh, master, may I take this opportunity to say that I was against it from the start? Who dared disobey me? Oh dear. You have all that's me. Who are you? Uh, I, I, I'm Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I, I, I lost my way in the woods. Here. I'll, I'll just be out of my way. No, I won't. I won't. You don't stand the beast. No, I wasn't. No, I was. I was really looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place no. to stay. No.
still have a little Rendez Vuzes, won't we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Good. Well, if we're going to have a wedding, I guess I'd better propose to the bride.
just missed him. Oh, wait a second. Where'd you get that scarf? Oh, this? In the woods. Pretty nice, eh? Belongs to my father. Oh, yeah. Well, finders keepers. Lafu, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found this. No, thank you! In the woods, okay? Hard, ow! Near the crossroads, ow! He's still out there somewhere. Lafu, you have to take me back. Not the woods again. Don't you see? Something must have happened to him. You have to take me back. Not in your life! Well, then I'll find him myself. Is 
I'm looking for my father. No. Is that you? Papa. Papa, how did you find me? Is there like ice? We have to get you out of here. We must leave this place now. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go now. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know somebody's there. Who are you? I am the master of this castle. Then you're the one that's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out. No, 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 please. Can't you see no. that he's not well? He should not have trespassed her. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited. And now he'll suffer the consequences. No, 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 no wait. Please don't do anything. There's nothing you can do. No, wait, please.
here. Come in. I thought you might like a nice cup of tea to help warm the spirits. But you're a, you're a Mrs. Potts, dear. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Who are you? Oh. Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star ever to grace this stage, but fall under one little spell. Hush! Wait, this is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. Well now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? This is nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let me see what I've got in my drawers. Ah, oh, here it is. I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer fitting into it now. Here, take it. It's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Don't be silly. Of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. It was a very brave thing you did today, my dear. We all seem so. I'm gonna miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but we're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle. It's you.
Being what they are, are actually 
uh, she is in the process of... Ah! She's not coming. <laughs> She's not coming! <laughs> She's not coming! <laughs> oh, well, we'll see about that! <laughs> now you're watching. Oh, your Grace. Right. <laughs> your eminence. <laughs> let, now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> Cosworth, stay where you are. Over here. Step aside. I know. 
this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say, please. I think that might be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. <laughs> oh, 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 dearie, nice to see you out and about. Oh, I am Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth, it's the girl, she's gone. I swear my ass never left. Oh, oh Chante. <laughs> Mademoiselle, this is Louis Anne. Stop it! Stop that! If there is anything that we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. I am a little hungry. Ooh. Except that. Oh, Coxworth. Well, you heard what the master said. Oh, pish tosh. I'm not about to let the poor girl go hungry. <laughs> all right, fine. A glass of water, crust of bread, but then she must be... I am surprised at you. She is not a prisoner. She is our guest. And we must make her feel welcome here. All right, dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it will be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner with that little music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and the greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin around your neck, Shari, and we provide the rest. Soup de jour, I don't know, while we only live to serve. Try the grister. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. I can serve <laughs> the
a servant who's not serving is not always a soul to wait upon. Good old days when we were useful. Suddenly, those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting, needing an exercise, a chance to use our skills. Hey, gosh, well, those days we just lay around the castle. Flabby, fat, and lazy, you are.
inverted as ways. This is yet another example of the late neoclassical Baroque period. And, as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> <laughs> May I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? In the air, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he were here. Act like a gentleman. Nothing but a fool. on my part, the disaster was averted, and that is the last time that a stone of that weight was quarried in this area. What's up there? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Any interest in the West Wing? So that's the West Wing. Let's go. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? <laughs> what an idea! Hiding. If he wasn't hiding anything, then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? <laughs> Uh, perhaps uh, Mademoiselle would like to see something else. Uh, well, you know, we have tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Or perhaps you'd like to see the gardens or, or the library. Yes. Or, the library? Yes. With books? Yes, a mountain of books, a cascade of books, a forest, swamps, cloud bus of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books on every subject by every other. Thank you. 
and frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Oh, you shouldn't have been in the west wind. And you should learn to control your temper. <laughs> now hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. <laughs> now that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon either. Have you taken a look at the roads lately? It is losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer together. I have just the thing. We warm you two up with a nice bowl of soup. Soup? Trust me. <laughs>
very long ago. Well, it just so happens that this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here and sit by me. Well, who'd have thought? Oh, bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Who indeed? Who'd have guessed it? Come together. Oh, it's so peculiar way to see. A few days more. So maybe something that it wasn't was there before. Well, perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. No. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there? I'll tell you when you're older, Chip. Come along. Mama? Yes, Chip.
Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. It's the end. That's a beautiful story. I knew you would like it. I thought to ask you for something. What? A second chance? Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? With me? With you?
night is the night. The night you confess your love. I can't. You, you must. You care for the girl, don't you? Oh, more than anything. Then why not tell her? I can't. You must. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight, provided by myself. <laughs> and then, when the moment is right... Well, how will I know when the moment is right? You feel slightly nauseous. No, no. You will know because you will feel it here. And you must speak from the heart. I must speak from the heart. Okay. But you must. you must. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Master. Afraid she might. She might walk. Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take such chance. Master, but look at the rose. There is so little of my life. Perhaps this could bolster your courage, eh? Oh. <laughs> you can do it, Master. I know you can.
well, this mirror, it will show you anything, anything that you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please.
only I'd come sooner. Oh, you know, no, baby, it's, baby, it's, it's better than this. That's why I... Shh, don't talk like that. Oh. We're together now. Everything's gonna be fine.
my doubts. May I say with ravishing. Thank you, Cogsworth. Do you like the gown? I simply can't believe it fits again after all these years. It is magnificence in excess, yes. Oh, did you know I wore this the night I sang at the Royal Opera? The king himself was there. I know, my dear. You were wonderful. Oh, Cogsworth. Mama, Mama. Chip? Chip? My boy? Oh! Chip, my boy! Look at you! Oh, my goodness. Are they going to live happily ever after, Mama? Of course they are, my dear. <laughs> of course they are.